Food stamps are back, folks. Isn't that great? And there's $500 worth that can be bought currently. And then their food stamps is going to send $191 every month. Is that for six months? No, they even went better than that. They went for a year. Thank you, thank you. And the huge largesse that came from the food pantry, uh, the resource center yesterday, uh, vegan cheeseburgers by Morningstar Farms, uh, grapes, plums, Strudel, two cans of peas, a box cereal, like Cheerio oats, like uh, shredded wheat, and about ten other items. Thank you, Phil Eddy, for going over to the Resource Center and picking them up. He said there was food unpacked all over the place. And every time I ask the woman on the telephone about, did she have such and such a food to put in my box, she'd say, I don't know. And then I asked her, I said, don't you think you should know the inventory? And she says, no, I work in clothing. Well, if she works in clothing and somebody's on the phone and wants to know about food, why wouldn't she turn that somebody on the phone over to somebody who knows about food? And we talked to Lori Clark about the community connection to help people in Nassau who are homeless, and I called up and asked them if they had anybody who was really down and out that I had a few dollars that I'd like to give away, and they didn't have anybody right on hand. Um, but it was a sincere effort to help people and do things for others through an organization. And Glennie and you, you and I today, we will try to do as much as we can and give out as much kindness as we can today, won't we? And give uh, smiles. And the Bible passage, it's a Bible passage where uh, Christ says if you, if you go with love and helping others, you'll have peace. And if you go with the world, which is uh, selfishness, egotism, and me first, uh, you have turmoil. So that's the old lesson over and over again. We're not going to think about bad. We're going to think about good. We're going to see God as God really is, which is love. We know that the soul and the spirit and mind, mind, did you ever stop and try to figure out mind and thought? and brain, and nerves, that they're all one, mind, soul, and spirit, that the truth is that love is God, and God is love, that's the truth. The truth is that there's only God. Uh, Philip 
Eddie claimed that he didn't feel well yesterday and that he wasn't coming to work. And I said, you do feel well, you're strong, you're a creativity of God, you're uh, here to do good, and you're able. And I called in a Christian science practitioner and said I would pay for it. That would be uh, Mark Sweeney, because he does it by email and he does it right away. So I asked him to treat Phil and Phil turned better right away and did no work. But by noon he said he couldn't see straight and he called for his parents to come and get him. What is on Phil's list today? Pittsfield. Pittsfield's coming along nicely. Keep it up. Act maturely. Act like adults. Act like the great privilege, American privilege, that public access TV is. We need it to give it strength. We do not need to divide it against itself. Remember the peasants in Russia under the oppression of the Tsar thought the world was a terrible place because they never knew anything about it and anything different. We're on to the next to the last, next to the last ten pages of volume R of Compton's. Two more volumes of Compton's and one last volume WXYZ of the World Book Encyclopedia reading about God. The encyclopedia is about God. It isn't everything about God, but it's a lot about God. It's much about God. Uh, all right, so the little stands uh, for the cell phones are a good idea. They don't give Glennie what she's really looking for, and that's that Glennie, a blind person, can operate a cell phone. Cell phones and blind persons just don't get along. But cell phone, but uh, landline phones and a blind person get along very well. And how are you this morning, Miss Alexa? What time is it, please, Miss Alexa? Hey, Alexa, what time is it, please? The time is 7.45 a.m. Oh, thank you so very much. Hope you much. have a good Tuesday. And you too. Grace and peace unto you and all those you love. Amy was a whiz. First day back from vacation. She got all of the holy agenda done from voicemail all the way up through the trust. And there were about Ten receipts on the trust, and she took care of them all and posted them. What else does Phil have to do? We have to go through our camcorders, and we have to learn to operate one of them. We have three camcorders. We have a Canon. We have a... JVC, a very old, back in the days when they had two uh, SD card slots, because the SD cards weren't long enough then, they were only 8 gig or 16 gig or something like that. And so that was put out of uh, use by the gigabytes of 550 or something now. Isn't it interesting, the universe? Uh, Phil, to give Glenny a good, nutritious, hot meal, uh, to take Glenny out into the August sunshine. This is the next to the last day of August sunshine. Tomorrow's the last day. Uh, to go to the bank, to go to the grocery store,
to buy all vegan food. Uh, the laundry, the housework, meaning the bed area, and the kitchen area, and the bathroom area, and the floors, and keep the refrigerator fresh, feed the, uh, be kind to the animals, We talked to Bruce Bergman and told him that his wonderful life story on professional photography uh, had been sent to the YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And that somehow or other, it's a connection there to get it on to the 72 TV stations. Boston to San Diego. I think Newark is okay with Kim Brown. Many, many thank yous. I think that Northern New Jersey is okay with Betty Ann Smith. Many, many thank yous. I think Taylor Holbrook's okay with Wappingers. I know that Susan Hayward is okay with Poughkeepsie and Warwick. Who's going to take care of Yonkers? Who cable casts Yonkers? That's Robert Jackson. Turn in your thing for Robert Jackson. Uh, Nyack is Lou Conway. When are all these hundreds of variables going to be lined up and we can sit back and put our feet up? Why is it every day we don't get it done? When is it all going to run smoothly? We have been in troubled waters for weeks months. When are we going to have smooth sailing? I'm talking about the Enterprise, this ship. A chat with Glendora, the SS Glendora. Okay, we want to do the last eight minutes of Wayne, and that's for program number three in Pittsville. For these two months. So what is the hymn for the day? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Where's the word for the day? Adequate. Completely fulfills the proposed end. You and I have a proposed end that we're trying to completely fulfill. And that's kindness to everybody and helpfulness. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others? And where is the jokes? It was the first day of classes. The professor came swaggering into the classroom and he bellowed, if there's any dumbbells in this room, I want you to stand up immediately. 
a long time went by. Finally, a lone freshman stood up in the back row and the professor shouted, are you a dumbbell? And the little lone freshman said, well, um, uh, no, sir, but I felt sorry for you standing up there all by yourself. What was your mother's name before she was married? The professor was asked. The professor answered, I had no mother before she was married. The college president was relieved of his duties and in his final speech before the board of trustees said he, I leave this position the same way I entered it, fired with enthusiasm. The time is 7.56 a.m. May the peace of God which passes all understanding dwell in our hearts and minds.